Wayne here. Welcome to Almost Free Base, where we show you how to get the most out of your gear for free or almost free. Today we're going to look at how to turn your phone into a high-quality audio recorder. This helps you capture audio in the field or anywhere it's not convenient to run cables. The basic ingredients for this recipe are any phone running Android version 5 or later, an adapter to plug regular USB devices into your phone, called a USB on-the-go adapter, a USB audio interface, just about any recent interface will do. If you don't already have one, the Behringer UM2 works just great and is under $40 at Sweetwater. And of course, a microphone. You can find the full parts list in the description below. Most of you will have some of these things laying around, but if you're missing anything, I've included some affiliate links that you can use to help support the channel. To start with, plug the USB on the go connector into the phone and use the regular USB cable to connect the audio interface. Next, connect the microphone to the interface before enabling phantom power. This helps ensure there are no awkward electrical moments as the pins make contact with each other. Now we're ready to record. Most apps will work just the way you're thinking, but if you're not hearing any audio from the microphone, Check the settings in the app to see if it lets you choose an audio source. Make sure your new microphone is selected. I've been using RecForge 2. The free version will work fine for most cases, but I'm using the pro version here. One great feature is that it lets you see the audio signal level while recording. This is really helpful to make sure the gain is set correctly so your peaks don't clip. So not only is this a great trick to capture audio, but it also works with your camera app to bring in high quality audio while you're shooting video. For this, I'm using Open Camera, as that allows for setting the audio source as well as many other options that are useful for recording video. Well, that's all for this video, but there's a lot more to explore here. Make sure to subscribe to pick up more tricks like this one, including how to use your phone as a multi-track digital audio workstation. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what you're using this for, so let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching Almost Free Base.